I've been having pretty bad uh, back problems for probably since 2014. I got my um, I got a breast augmentation done, and it really made me like slouch, like because I don't stand like this now anymore because there's a lot going on now. So I'm very like you know, ugh, like I don't know. So I just I don't know. I need to be able to get my posture back, I think, and I have like some tension in my shoulder blades, so, um, but lately they've been, this one um, in particular, has been like really warm, like I'll be like driving and I'll get like hot, like I can feel like a burning sensation, and um, so that was the most concerning thing to me lately, that's why I really wanted to come see you. Okay. Is that mostly on the left? Do you get it on the right too? It's mostly on the left, but I call it like my T zone. So like pretty much the, the shoulder blades and then like my spine and then maybe like up here a little. Okay. But like just by doing that, it was just burning. Like okay. it's just so weird. But um, yeah. I, Are you getting any pain down your arms at all? Um, no. Do you ever have any numbness or tingling in your toe or in your fingertips? No. Good. Do you have headaches? Yeah, but I mean, I don't think they're related to the back thing, but okay. yeah. How often do you get headaches? Um, probably towards the end of the day, like a lot, maybe around like this time. <laughs> like <laughs> one time a week, more or less? Mm, probably like two, three times maybe a week. Okay, well that's pretty significant. Yeah. Two or three headaches a week. Yeah. What do you do to make your headaches better? Uh, I take Advil. <laughs> or I just try to drink some water because I'm not very good with drinking water either. Okay. But, right. Okay. <clears throat> what do you do to make your shoulders better? Um, so, honestly, I pretty much find a wall and then kind of like, I say like fold, I ask someone to like push my shoulders just to like kind of fold me in a hot dog style, mm -hmm, I say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just to kind of crack it, just to like, I don't know, just anything. Even just this touch of like someone's hand on the center of my back just makes it feel so much better. Okay. So. Do you have to take any over the counters for that? No. Do you take any supplements at all? Um, supplements, no. I'm on some medications, but they're not like pain related. Okay. All right. What medications are you on? So I'm on ADHD medicine. Um, that's Aptenzio, but um, I've been on that since I was like, probably like 10. Okay. And then I'm on blood pressure medicine because I have low blood pressure. Okay, how long have you been on that medication? Um, that one took a couple of years to figure out what was wrong because I was fanning a lot. Um, so that I think we found out permanently last year after switching a couple because okay. it was happening like every for the past like two to three years. When did that? Okay, so two to three years. Yeah, I would. I just started fanning a lot in public, and it just wouldn't. Like something was definitely wrong. Okay. So, yeah. Alright, so the medication helps though? Yeah, no. I just can't go anywhere like Disney World or something like where I have to walk for a long time because I think standing straight up for like, I think they said longer than 20 minutes, the blood will just pull to my feet for too long and it'll just make me faint. Okay. So, Even on the medication? Yeah, because the one that I take now that we found that works, like, you know, not at Disney World, but. Um, it's a stabilizer, so it's keeping it like balanced. Unless I'm like walking far distances, and then you know it fluctuates too much. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's pretty much like a steroid for blood pressure. But, okay, how old are you now? I'm 24. All right, so that started when you were 20, 21. Mm -hmm. What happened in your life at that point? Did you get any any accidents, any traumas? No. Did you get any mm -hmm. any medication no. changes? Nothing at all. I mean. I I started to realize that it was happening. Like I I would get in the shower and stuff when I was younger and then faint, I, but not How much even younger? before probably, twenty. It's probably like ten when it first happened. Like in the shower, I think it could be like heat related or just standing. Like like hot tubs. I can't even get in like a hot tub now because if I get out, I'll just faint or like I'll lose my vision. Okay. I fainted while driving one time. Um, so yeah. Do you get dizziness? Yeah, sometimes. Like I don't really drink much because like I'll just like turn my head and like everything will kind of 
like follow a couple seconds later, like I can just tell and I just don't really like the way that makes me feel because I just feel like I'm more prone to fainting. Do you remember any other major traumas that you've ever had? Um, honestly, no. Have you ever been hospitalized for anything? Um, no. How's your diet? Um, I pretty much eat whatever I want. Okay. <laughs> I have been eating better, like I eat a lot more fruits and vegetables, but and trying to drink more water, but before I would drink like Red Bulls and stuff a lot, and I was like obviously told like stop that, so I stopped. Do you but, know the details of your birth? Um, no, not really. Do you know if you're uh, natural or cesarean? Oh, I guess I was natural. Okay. Yeah. No. Wait, yeah, or a C-section, is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I was just natural. Okay, so um, do you know if you were breastfed as a child? I was not. No, do you, do you know if you have any childhood illnesses? Um, no. Okay. I mean, And you I, started taking ADHD when you were 10? Yeah. I, um, I pretty much was that kid that, uh, couldn't sit still or listen at all. Like, mm -hmm. the, the one that just literally was distracting everybody. Have you ever been adjusted before? No, not at all. Okay. How do you feel about it? Nervous? Excited? I'm kind of nervous, but... I am excited because I, I do want to feel better. My back has just been killing me too much. Let's do an exam on your spine and then I'll get you adjusted. And uh, we'll see what your spine says and go from there, okay? Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Okay, I'm going to start off with a scan on the top of your spine, okay? Mm -hmm. There's just like a little bit of a curvature here in your lumbar spine. Has mm -hmm. anyone ever told you that before? No. Well, actually, there's a scar from when I fainted. That is, it looks like my spine. I don't know if you can see. There's like a Oh yeah, I do, scar. okay, uh -huh. <laughs> Which fainting was that? Uh, that was in New Orleans. I fainted on Bourbon Street in front of my boss. <laughs> oh. I mean, you can see that too, right? Do you see that curvature there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now sit up nice and straight. We're gonna check for scoliosis in a second here. I'm going to feel the, my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to slide up to the glute folds. We're slightly lower on the right versus on the left. Looking from the top view, they're even, maybe slightly external rotation. Lower, so possible PIEX on the right. Okay, go ahead and march in place. <clears throat> okay, high knees, as high as you can go. Okay, so the right one is dipping backwards, so that's indicative of a PI. Okay, you can stop. Bend forward and touch your toes. Okay, you're gonna stand back up. So when you're standing, this curvature is not really there at all. It's all tender in there? Yeah, a little bit. Relax your back muscles here a little bit. Okay, um, bring your chin to your chest and then dip your shoulders down, like crunch forward. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. Okay, now come back. 
Okay, forward. A little bit more shoulders. Move your shoulders forward. Good. Okay, now squeeze it all back. Okay, good. Forward. Back. Okay, that's good now. Tender? Yeah, a little bit. What about this one? More, yeah. more or less? More. C6, C7. So we're at C7 here. Put your arm down, I'm gonna hold it. Tender? Mm -mm. Tender? Mm -hmm. Okay, your shoulders relax. Is this tender here? Yeah. Feel that? Mm -hmm. Oh wow, I do feel that.
a nice, nice soft breaths. Nice and gentle breathing in through your nose and out. Go let your shoulders sink in. I'm gonna follow it down gentle, gentle. That felt good. I feel like I just finally got a, like a breath of like air. Mm -hmm. Okay, good start. We're gonna come up two segments here. Another breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, sinking in gentle. My body has exploded and I feel, I'm starting to feel my body again. <laughs> That's so weird. This is a little bit different of adjustment. You're going to breathe all the way in and then when you get to the top of the breath, that one will push in, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so deep breath in, far in as you can go, all the way in. Good. And out, let your shoulders relax as you breathe out. Good. This is going to be very gentle. So breathing in, good, and out. Good, sinking in. Oh, that felt the best. Oh. oh, I feel like I, why did I wait so long to come here? Mm -hmm. Oh, that felt so good. Relax your back. Left. Down. Relax your back. Right. Okay, down. Okay, good, one more time. Let's bring this to here. Good, shoulders relaxed, breathing in, out. Good, let the shoulders come down just a little bit. Good, relax here. Good, lean uh, back. Uh, I feel wiggly. Good, another breath in and out. Go, let the shoulders come up like this. Good, hold on, there's more. Let the hips relax. Lay in your back. Oh. Okay, let's do this. Turn your head to the right. Okay, back to center. Okay, turn your head to the left. Back to center. One more time to the left. Center. Okay, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Good, center. Left ear to left shoulder. Back to center.
Let me do it. There you go. Left or right? Mm, left. A nice and gentle breathing, just feeling yourself sink in, letting go. Good. Breathe. Good. Ah. Okay, push your knees out. Push, 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 push. Relax. Okay, now hold your knees together. Hold your knees together. As hard as you can, hold them together. Good, hold me there. Don't let me pull it. Hold, hold. Oh. Yeah, did you feel that? Did yes. you feel that in your pubic bone? Uh -huh, a little bit right there. Okay, the next is the pyloric sphincter, two inches above the umbilical. Tender. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, I want you to breathe in, but breathe into your belly. Like, fill your belly up with air. Good. Out. Okay, do the same thing. Fill your belly up with air. Out. Belly. Nope. Do you feel your, you feel how oh, your yeah. chest is rising yeah. there? Just make your belly. There you go. Out. Again. Out. Oh wow, <laughs> I'm so excited. What, why is it, why is it shaking? <laughs> why does it sound like that? I'll tell you in a second.
Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to do another neck adjustment here with this relax. This one's a little bit different from the other other ones. Okay, this one's not as scary. Lower your legs down to the ground, please, or the table. This mm -hmm. one's not as scary because I don't have to twist or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to lift your head up like this, and we're going to pull in that direction, mm -hmm. okay? okay? This is this is going to be gentle, gentle, soft stretching. Let your shoulders relax. Good, because kind of sink in here. Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> I felt so good. But this is the exercise that's going to counteract all that tightness in your trapezius muscle mm -hmm. and at the same time strengthen your postural muscles. Okay. There's going to be three steps to this. So the first thing that you're going to do is make sure your head is neutral. You're looking straight up in the air. Mm -hmm. Okay, now from this position, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to push your head straight down into the table. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're going to push your head straight back down, kind of like you're tucking your chin in. But don't lift your chin at all. Just keep your chin neutral. You're mm -hmm. going to push down. And then when you push down, that's going to create just a little bit of space where your thoracic spine lifts up off the table. Mm -hmm. And with that space, I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Mm -hmm. So push your head down so your chest lifts up mm -hmm. and then squeeze your shoulder blades together underneath your like body. This? Perfect. Hold, 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 relax and let it all like down. That. Okay. So those are the three steps. Mm -hmm. You push your head straight down, you squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then you hold, hold, hold. Relax. Good. Don't forget to breathe. Good. Breathe I know, out. I always forget to breathe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good thing it does it for you most of the time. Okay. <laughs> Shoulder relax. There you go. Ah, oh, okay. Mm. Wow. <laughs> that felt good. So relax. Open, close, open, close.
How's your cycle? Do you, do you cycle regularly or are you on birth control? Um, uh, regularly. Well, wait. Well, you are on birth control. Yeah, I am. I've been on it for a while. Yeah. All right, let's see. Stand up. Take it for a test drive. How's it feel? Definitely so. I feel so much better. I just want to, like, I really can just shake around and just start. <laughs> like, I don't even, I wish I.